Guys, unfortunately, what I thought was going to happen has happened. YouTube has basically rendered the dislike button completely useless on YouTube. You cannot see how many dislikes any video on YouTube has. There is not a button that me as a creator can push to allow the public to see how many dislikes a certain video of mine has. It's all YouTube. They've eliminated it uh, to where, you know, anyone, you know, you go to one of these videos, you can't see the dislikes. It's crazy. A few days ago, I noticed it. I knew it was coming. And the reason they did this was extremely political. Uh, now, I'm going to show you guys. You First of all, let's just say YouTube does have, you know, the ability to where if you, if you own a YouTube channel and you put out a video and you don't want anyone to see the likes or dislikes, you can have that. But you take a look. I'm gonna you, I'm gonna do screenshot by screenshot. These are videos uploaded by the White House of all places, and the ratios on these videos they're not bad. They are god awful. I mean, you're talking about 500 likes to seven and a half k dislikes, and you may say, well, that doesn't influence people. Clearly, it does because YouTube felt the need to remove the dis to, to remove the amount of dislikes that can be seen you can still see the likes you can still see all of the likes but you cannot see the dislikes and this influences people if you click on a video a political video and it has 1000 likes and 8000 likes likes and, and excuse me 8000 dislikes that's going to tell you that this video has not been well received now maybe a majority of the people you know watching the video that disliked it were republican or were conservative or were democrat or were liberal whatever but it's not well received. That gives you context. When I'm Googling something, when I'm searching something on YouTube, how to fix a TV or something, and I click on a video and it has 40 likes and 362 dislikes, and it's a 15 minute video, I'm probably not gonna stay and watch the video because other users who, who have watched the video are telling me, this doesn't give me good, accurate information on solving my problem on how I'm going to fix a TV. So the idea that removing the dislike button is, I, I'm guessing they're going to dress it up. I don't know why they removed it, but I'm guessing it's like, oh, to help mental health. We don't want people to be bullied. We don't pe want people, to, creators to feel bad about how, how their videos are doing. This is completely political motivated. And I knew it was going to happen. You take a look at any of these videos the, the, within the past year of this current administration, they are all disliked by the YouTube community. All of them. It's not even close. These are White House videos. Now, yes, you can remove, if you create a video, you can remove the like and dislike button, but it, it got so bad to the point where, you know, you would see press conferences of Joe Biden at the White House and it would be just some small, you know, you know, no name uh, news, news outlet uploading the video and it'd have 10 likes and 300 dislikes. I'm not even kidding you. That's how bad it got. And whether people want to admit it or not, clearly YouTube by doing this is admitting it. That influences other people who watch the video. If you click on a video where Joe Biden's talking about his new big deal and it has 3,000 likes and 30,000 dislikes, that's going to influence the person immediately who clicks on the video and saying, hmm, people have a really negative, uh, you know, ne negative reaction to this video. Now that's not to say you should immediately also have a negative reaction because everyone else does, but that does influence people. You know, we're all human. We all understand it. Something getting massively disliked, you seeing it right when you click on it, it's going to have an influence. And to me, the greatest example of, the, of it, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. And this is really what I want, want to get into. I want to get into the idea to where the government and all these social media apps, they don't want you to be influenced by opinions of your peers. They want you to be influenced by the government's opinions or by people who are quote unquote experts. And what I, this is exactly what I mean this. The new Dr. Fauci documentary. The experts, 41 of them reviewed, reviewed it 85%, so hmm, pretty good. And the audience score over 500 people, 2%. That is a perfect example right there. No, listen to the experts. This was good. This is good. I'm not saying experts are bad or anything like that, or I'm not anti-doctor or anything like that, but I'm just saying this is a perfect example of just listen to the experts. Don't listen to your peers. No, they're dumb. They don't know anything. It's a perfect example. They, they want to let the government influence you. And the funniest thing all of these videos, all of these screenshots that I'm showing you guys, I literally searched on Twitter, YouTube dislike. And within a minute, 30 seconds, I found all these. I found all these screenshots. Hmm, I wonder why YouTube is removing the dislike button. I mean, come on, guys. It makes no sense. The whole idea, you should just remove the, you, the like dislike button altogether. It's completely useless now. You can see how many likes a video has, but not dislikes. 
That makes zero sense. Uh, and unfortunately, I predicted this. I didn't predict it because they said they were going to do it anyways. But I was like, it's coming. You look at some of these videos, the like-to-dislike ratios, the fact that they're so massively disliked, it's going to influence people. And YouTube is not going to like that. And you know what? They're going to say, oh, yeah, it's because of mental health. We don't want creators feeling bad about themselves. They're going to, it's so disingenuous and it's so ridiculous that this is a complete political motive. And they're going to dress it up and say, we care about our creators. We want, we don't want anyone to feel bad about their videos. That's not why they're doing it, folks. Give me a freaking break. And it's so ridiculous that they have to hide behind mental health and things like that as reasonings for doing this. No, just say, you know what? A lot of some of these, the current administration's videos were getting disliked and it was influencing people and you didn't like it so you remove the dislike button so we can't see how many dis how many dislikes videos has you don't want citizens to be influenced by their peers you don't want that you want citizens to be completely influenced by the government that's what you want that's what major social media wants that's what the government wants and we're seeing coordination with social media with with these major social media platforms excuse excuse me the smaller ones not as much they want to be more free speech but with twitter with facebook with google YouTube connected to Google. They're basically the same thing. We're seeing coordination. Great coordination. Unbelievable. And that's why the dislike button now is completely useless. I mean, go ahead, like this video, dislike it. It's not going to matter. I could literally get 30 likes on this video and 3,000 dislikes and it would just say I have 30 likes. Yay! I win. I win. Everyone likes me, guys. I'm going to get 100 likes, 5,000 dislikes, but nobody can see the dislikes. So I have only 500 likes. Yes! Thank God. I feel so accomplished now. <laughs> but guys, that is going to do it for this video. It's just unfortunate. There's no, there's no reason. Just leave it. I love YouTube. I love making videos. I don't want to badmouth YouTube. I know what's going on here. Uh, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about why this is happening. It's unfortunate. But guys, make sure you're following me on Twitter. That link's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.